What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar Basa, Vasil Hitech Lomachenko, 16 wins, 2 losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5'7 with a 65-inch arm reach. He's recently coming off of a dominating performance over former IBF lightweight world champion, star boxer Richard Comey, that took place December 11th uh, of this year, uh, uh, excuse me, of last year in New York, New York at Madison Square Garden. With that said, Vasil Lomachenko, he was trying to secure a showdown to regain his titles that he lost to uh, former unified lightweight world champion superstar boxer Teofimo Lopez. He lost to Teofimo Lopez back in October 2020 and lost all his titles. So after his performances, his comeback, uh, bounce back wins against Nakatani uh, June of uh, 2021, and then he fought Richard Comey December of 2021, he's looking to regain his titles and he was looking to face uh, Australian star boxer who shockingly defeated Teofimo Lopez in his fight November 27th at the same place in New York, New York, Madison Square Garden, a split decision for uh, George Cambosis Jr., who's the newly crowned unified lightweight world champion, 20 wins, no loss, no draws, 10 wins by way of knockout, 28 years of age, 5 for 9 and a half with a 70-inch arm reach. Uh, he's looking to face off against George Cambosis Jr., but George Cambosis Jr. is looking to go to the highest bidder, which seems to be undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, who's 27 wins, no loss, no draws, uh, 15 wins by way of knockout. He's 23 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 72 inch arm reach. Uh, looks like they're going to head into an undisputed showdown in April. So, with that said, Vasil Lomachenko is going to petition the World Boxing Organization, better known as the WBO, to become the mandatory for George Cambosis Jr. But Vasil Lomachenko has also called out undefeated three division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who is tw uh, 26 wins, no loss, and no draws. 24 big wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He's coming off of a, a beautiful performance, in my opinion, against uh, Mexican star boxer Isaac Pitbull Cruz, December 5th in Los Angeles, California at the Staples Center. So uh, I thought that was a beautiful performance. Javante Tank Davis, he's a southpaw, broke his left hand in the sixth round and still found a way to win, still looked, found a way to outbox uh, Isaac Cruz, who was aggressive and relentless the entire night, okay, and was very and proved to be very durable. Isaac Cruz now 22 wins, two losses, one draw, uh, 15 wins by way of knockout, 23 years of age, five foot three with a 63 inch arm reach, okay. So, with that said, Isaac Cruz, you know, he was relentless, it was an opportunity of a lifetime, and he proved to be very durable. Uh, he was aggressive the entire night, he was pressing Javante Tank Davis every second or every minute of every round. But I thought it was a great performance by Javante Tank Davis to show versatility. So with that said, uh, Vasil Lomachenko, he knows that he was uh, he had plenty of opportunities to fight Devin Haney, but he turned those opportunities down. He cited that Devin Haney was too young, too green, uh, and wasn't ready for a big fight of that magnitude. So he never accepted. And even when Devin Haney became his mandatory, he never accepted the fight. Okay, so with that said, now Lomachenko at 33 stated that he don't have time to play games. And he stated that he'd been wanting to fight Javante Tank Davis, and he's wanted to fight also um, George Cambosis Jr. And another guy he mentioned that he would love to have fought is uh, undefeated Mexican superstar title contender who doesn't seem to be too interested in the sport of boxing. And that's uh, King Rob Ryan Garcia, who is also 23 years of age, 5'10", with a 70-inch arm reach, uh, Ryan Garcia is 21 wins, no loss, and no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he hasn't been in the ring since he fought Olympic uh, gold medalist, um, British superstar boxer Luke Campbell. And oddly enough, Vasil Lomachenko beat Luke Campbell for the vacant WBC title. But Ryan Garcia, he fought Luke Campbell back in January of 2021, okay? But he has been inactive since then, so it's over a year since he's been active. And so he stated, Lomachenko stated that he's 33 years of age. He has a goal. And the reason he wants to secure a fight with George Cambosis Jr. is because he wants to regain his titles and he's trying to create history. He wants to become undisputed. Okay. He wants to officially become undisputed. And so he stated that 
He would love to fight Geronte Tank Davis, but Geronte Tank Davis and George Cambosis Jr. are more interested with being uh, um, celebrities and being famous than they are wanting to be uh, creating a legacy and be boxers. So he says, I'm a boxer first, and these guys are just looking to be famous. Uh, I want to fight. They want to be famous. So he says that they're just looking to put themselves in a position where they could be famous. They're not looking to uh, have the best fights and, and have legacy fights, okay? So when you look at it from the standpoint, obviously that, you know, um, <laughs> that, that resonates with Ryan Garcia for sure because Ryan Garcia's whole claim to fame is the fact that Ryan Garcia has a huge social media following, okay? Uh, Ryan Garcia's claim to fame has never been what he accomplished in the ring. He has one fight, one big fight in his career, and that was the fight against uh, Luke Campbell in which he showed vulnerabilities. He was flawed in the fight. Uh, he was dropped in the fight. He Now he faced adversity. He got up uh, and stopped Luke Campbell in the seventh round. But Ryan Garcia is known to have nearly 9 million social media followers. Okay, he has nearly 9 million social media followers, a huge Twitter following. You know, so he's a he's big on social media. So everybody attests uh, his social media, um, you know, status and his starness on social media as uh, uh, Ryan Garcia being a superstar in the sport of boxing, okay, which he's definitely, he's just not a, a superstar in the sport of boxing. He hasn't achieved anything within the sport of boxing, okay? He hasn't had uh, uh, any big, massive wins. Now, the win over Luke Campbell uh, was a good win because Luke Campbell uh, is definitely, you know, um, you know, a contender, okay? But he's not, Luke Campbell has never been a world champion. He's fought for world titles, but he's never won a world title. He's never been a world champion. So with that said, you know, um, Luke Campbell was a good win for Ryan Garcia at the age of 23. But nonetheless, Ryan Garcia hasn't proved much in the sport of boxing. Okay. He just hasn't. Uh, but you look at, um, if you look at, you know, Luke Campbell, you know, uh, he fought Lomachenko. He gave Lomachenko a tough fight. So I give Ryan Garcia credit for that. But then you look at Javante Tank Davis. And people complain about the lack of competition when it comes to Javante Tank Davis. Now, Javante Tank Davis did fight four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz, who, in my opinion, is a surefire Hall of Famer. Uh, you know, and that's the biggest win in Javante Tank Davis's career as far as namesake goes. OK, and then uh, you look at he did beat three time three division world champion Olympic gold medalist Uriokis Gamboa. And he did beat Jose Pedraza. You know, uh, so those are solid wins, okay? But most recently, he beat Mario Barrios, who was the WBA regular champion, who, oddly enough, is going to move up to welterweight and fight Keith Thurman, uh, which was uh, shocking. But Mario Barrios is a big uh, dream welterweight at 140 to, for to Javante Tank Davis to become a three-division champion. Mario Barrios, 5'10", you know, uh, he has a 72-inch arm reach. So he's very big to be a 140-pounder. And Javante Tank Davis at 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach, is not the biggest guy in the world. So he beat Mario Barrios. But again, Mario Barrios is the unknown. He's not a superstar. Mario Barrios is not a Hall of Famer. Mario Barrios is not viewed as one of the best fighters in the world. As Javante Tank Davis is viewed as one of the best fighters in the world. Javante Tank Davis is viewed as one of the pound-for-pound -pound, uh, best fighters in the world. And Javante Tank Davis is viewed as the cash cow from Julian Welterweight on down, okay? And so you want to see Javante Tank Davis at 27 years of age fight the absolute best that there is to offer. And in his most recent fight, he was initially scheduled to fight WBA interim champion lightweight uh, Rolando Roley Romero, 14 wins, no losses, no draws, uh, 12 wins by way of knockout. He, too, is 26 years of age, 5'8", with a 69-inch arm reach. But he hasn't fought anybody. He hasn't proven anything. And initially, that's who Javante Tank Davis was scheduled to fight uh, on pay-per-view. But he hasn't proved anything, okay? But he was removed because of some serious allegations alleged against him. And uh, Isaac Pitbull Cruz was the chosen person to replace him. And the fans weren't happy that Isaac Cruz was the chosen person to replace uh, um, Rolando Roley Romero because he's relatively unknown. You want to see Javante Tank Davis, who's considered to be pound for pound in the cash cow, against the absolute best there is to offer, okay? Uh, and so with that said, Lomachenko has been calling out Javante Tank Davis for well over two years, okay? But again, there is a barrier because Rasil Lomachenko is signed to legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter Bob Arum, uh, who obviously has a long history with Floyd Mayweather. But Bob Arum stated that he has a good 
relationship with uh, Floyd Mayweather, Leonard Ellaby, and Mayweather Promotions. So they should be able to get a deal done, okay? Um, and when it comes to Ryan Garcia, he's absolutely not going to fight uh, Vasil Lomachenko. He didn't even, he claimed that he wanted to fight C-level fighter in Isaac Cruz, and when sent the contract, he's choosing to go the route of fighting Joseph Jojo Diaz. So he's showing that he, he postponed his fight with Javier Fortuna. He has scheduled to fight Joseph Diaz. He postponed that fight. You know, uh, he was uh, um, Devin Haney's mandatory. And then he was negotiating with, with Javante Tank Davis. And he pulled out all of these fights. So uh, nobody taking Ryan Garcia serious at this point in time. Now, when it comes to George Cambosis Jr. and Vasil Lomachenko, well, Vasil Lomachenko uh, wants to fight George Cambosis Jr. George Cambosis Jr. wants to go to highest bidder after that big win over Tiafimo Lopez. He wants to get paid for his services. He wants to be compensated for his services. He has an opportunity in a lifetime. He has a majority of the belts in a division, all but one belt. And so now he's looking to capitalize off of that situation. And when you look at it from the standpoint, you know, he's right, okay? Uh, he could be one and done. His next fight, Lomachenko, he could lose. Devin Haney, he could lose. So he wants to capitalize on it. And so Bob Arum is not willing to pay George Cambosis Jr. big money. He's just not. Okay, um, Bob Arum, he never viewed George Cambosis Jr. in high regard. Before George Cambosis Jr. fought Tiafimo Lopez, Bob Arum was not happy with the fight. Uh, he felt as if Tiafimo Lopez, George Cambosis Jr. allegedly colluded to get the most money. Not, but George Cambosis was his IBF mandatory, and they, they couldn't come to agreement, so it went to a purse bid. And so Bob Arum, he felt like they knew that there was going to be a high bid out there, so they didn't come to an agreement to allow it to go to purse bid. And that somebody would outbid top rank at Bob Arum. So uh, he felt that George Cambosis Jr., Bob Arum's own words, was a walk in the park. Uh, he wasn't a big name fighter, and it should be an easy fight for Tiafima Lopez. Well, it proved anything but. We saw Tiafima Lopez get dropped, uh, but now he did face adversity because he got up and he dropped George Cambosis Jr. in the 10th round. But in the 11th and 12th round, he controlled, recaptured the, the pace of the fight, controlled the fight, and he won the fight. So, um, Bob Arum is just not willing to put up big money for George Cambosis Jr. Uh, versus Rasil Lomachenko. That's the reason why they wanted to go to a purse bid. So Lomachenko calls out Tank Davis and he calls out George Cambosis and Ryan Garcia says these guys just want to be celebrities. But also in the same token, uh, he's not mentioning Devin Haney's name, oddly enough. And that's a guy who's been calling him out and looking to fight him for quite some time. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Uh, Devin Haney... Uh, looks to fight George Cambosis in April. Uh, Ryan Garcia is looking to fight Joseph Jojo Diaz in April. And uh, Vasil Lomachenko doesn't have a fight, and neither does Javante Tank Davis. That should be the fight made. I agree. I think the fight that should be made is uh, Ryan uh, is Vasil Lomachenko versus Javante Tank Davis. That's a legacy opportunity for Javante Tank Davis. It's a big fight. It's a fight to prove uh, everybody already catapulted Lomachenko back in the top five pound for pound after wins over Nakatani and Richard Comey. I don't know how, but this is uh, how he's viewed, okay? Uh, and so this is an opportunity, in my opinion, a legacy fight, a big money fight for Javante Tank Davis to solidify and prove that uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, co-sign the fact that he's being considered the best, one of the best fighters in the world and the cash cow. This is a fight that will do that and solidify it. So I think this fight needs to happen. Uh, but we don't know the time frame with Javante Tank Davis and his hand injury. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Buzz Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.